my name is Evan Wynn, and welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create this super popular film burn, film grain effect for your photos or you know whatever name you'd like to call it. It's really like the ultimate grunge like retro feel effect that you can add to your photos and you know just have a different texture to it. This effect wasn't really created or coined by anyone in particular but shout out to Mikey JC for just really blowing this effect up and just bringing this effect to my attention. Mikey really creates some crazy stuff out there so you guys should definitely give him a follow on Instagram. The best part of this effect is that I've Today we're just going to be using Lightroom to create this effect, but you can pretty much use any other photo editor or even apps on your phone that pretty much have the same settings as Lightroom. The only requirements to create this effect is that you guys have a flash or any type of you know bright light on your camera or your phone or whatever device you're shooting on. The flash is just really vital to this effect and just really something that just ties in everything together. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure you like this video and subscribe. It's free. All this content is free, so it would really mean a lot if you guys could. Also, if you guys have any questions or concerns throughout the entirety of this video, please be sure to leave a comment down below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial all right guys so now that we are finally inside of lightroom as you can see you just you know have your shots loaded in i have a couple of shots loaded in and you know like i said a big part of this effect is the flash so not necessarily that you have to shoot in dark environments or like you know indoor environments it does work the best with indoor environments but um the flash really does help bring out that that aspect and that like vintage feel to it and what we're going to do first is the dark green vintage film work okay so this effect is obviously they're all really pretty much easy to recreate so the first step is we're going to come over here with this exposure i like to come down here and just tweak all the light settings and i just like to actually bring the exposure down a little bit so not not too much probably just around to like negative 16 or like negative 0.20 sorry point 16 point 20 and it obviously is you know little tiny minor differences but uh, when we add a lot of the color effects a lot of these light effects start to show a lot coming to contrast we're actually going to bump up the contrast by just a tad bit up to like you know let's let's go with with 11 ish 11, 13 ish. And that really just helps bring out um, the shadows and, and like, especially shadows behind right here, behind his head, you can see the, the bringing up the contrast just helps like uh, embold that and it gives it that vintage feel really. Moving on to highlights. For highlights, we're actually going to move a tad bit down, just like negative, negative 10, maybe negative eight down. And this pretty much, just because we have this flash already, there's already a lot of light uh, going on right here in the subject that's just like embolds that. So we don't want to have like a you know super blown out image okay moving on to our shadows this is where we're actually going to move up to 36 and that is actually bringing the shadows uh i think that is lessening the shadows actually because if we go backwards you can see the shadows definitely become a lot darker so we're going to bring the shadows up by like 36 36 right here and that's just overall going to help you know it helps the contrast helps embolden it but then the shadows um lifting just helps you know lighten the scene a little bit moving on to our whites and blacks you actually don't really have to do much here it, it could depend on your scene depending on how much you know darkness or light that you want and with that we're pretty much done with the light section now i know you might be looking at it and you're like it looks the exact same but it's really when you when you move on to these other color effects it'll really help bring this out so moving on to our color tab now the color tab is where a lot of stuff comes into play mostly starting with the temperature the temperature honestly depends on what type of shot you're trying to go for we are going to be doing a warm iteration version of this effect as well but for now we're starting with this you know darker greenish coldish look so we're going to bring the temperature down just a tad bit maybe like five or four don't bring it too down too much so it's too cold but you know just so it cools the uh the scene for our vibrance we're actually going to bring our vibrance a little bit up just because for me personally i like having uh, the colors show a little bit. Uh, it depends honestly on, on what effect you're trying to go for. And then I kind of bring the saturation down a bit. Now, moving on to the color grading. The color grading right here is pretty much what helps bring the entirety of the, the shot and the feel of the photo together. So I'm going to bring the shadows over here all the way over here to this green section. It honestly doesn't matter. The value really just enough. And then I'm going to bring this, this little key up just a tad bit, maybe like maybe like 19, like, I don't know what the S stands for, but probably about, probably about 18 ish. Once again, we don't want it too green, but we also don't want it too blue. So, you know, just have a nice little feel for that and just kind of mess around with it, watch your photo. And there you go, for this shot, we're definitely starting to get that, that like greenish, that like film, film feel to it. Honestly, it just really depends on your shot and then you can move on from there. 
And lastly, moving on to our effects. Now the effects also really help bring this together. This is where our vignette comes into play. So the vignette, we are going to drop this value probably about like 25, 26. And that just really helps overall just bring the uh, the corners and the, and the and the center focus more towards our subject. And then lastly, the grain. The grain is always something that just helps bring the film effect out because you know, hence it is, it's, it's grain, it's literally film grain. And you can see, if we zoom in, uh, you can see we have the grain like starting to become visible there. One thing I noticed is when I export, grain actually shows a lot more in the exports. Maybe that's just my Lightroom, but um, just be careful with, with the amount of grain. Like if I switch back to pictures, you can see for a split second, there's a lot of grain present and then it kind of disappears. But yeah, and there we pretty much have it. This is the first cold film effect. You know, every shot's different, so just adjust the settings to your liking. Now this effect is very similar to this other cool vintage film effect. You know, it's just differences in temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy the settings and then paste it and then just adjust the color effects. So I'm gonna come over here to the photo that we edited, hit Command C <clears throat> to copy the settings and then come over here and then hit Command V. Now you can see this just pretty much destroyed the color or maybe it's a look, you know, an artist's eye can interpret many things. So what we're gonna do first is we're just going to get rid of these shadows. We're gonna double click the center and then that should just get rid of everything. And there you can see we have all the color values pretty much reset to zero. Now, before we continue on with the rest of the color grading tab, we're gonna come over here to the color mixer real quick. The color mixer comes in handy because we have a lot of just nasty yellows just hanging around in the background and just kind of, makes the photo feel a little bit dirty. We can come over here and we can select certain uh, color values indicated by the color tab. So for example, yellow right here, we don't want the yellow, so we can just decrease the saturation on yellows uh, or increase and decrease the luminance. I might increase the luminance a tad bit. You can see we have a drastic change, you know, it just helps remove that just like nasty feel to the photos. Now coming back to our color grading tab real quick, this is actually where our midtones tabs come in actually more so than our shadows. We are going to do the same thing that we did for our shadows, but we're just going to boost the midtones and more orange values. So just where you get that like warm feeling to the photos. And then we can come back over here up to our temperature and we can just bring the temperature back to zero. Or you could move it up a little bit, you know, into the yellows, but I prefer it at zero and they're just boosting the midtones instead. And there we have it, a warm and cool film effect going on right here. And then obviously you can just hit Command C to copy your settings and just paste them according to your liking. Command C and Command V. And with that, here are the final photos. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. It really means a lot. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't yet. If you have any suggestions or ideas on videos you'd like to see from us in the future, please be sure to leave a comment down below and definitely add us on Instagram if you created anything cool. Love to see what you guys make. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.